Welcome to the Prophecy Club. Let me just say before I even get started in this, <laughs> I know that the Prophecy Club sometimes comes across pretty negative. And I know that sometimes it gets old. Sometimes it gets old with me too. Sometimes I have to just sit and stare at the wall or <laughs> go and do something that gets my mind off it. I understand. But at the same time, I cannot use Prophecy Club time to, I know this sounds hard, to bother to encourage you. I know my wife keeps telling me I need to encourage you. I look at it like this, okay? If you need encouragement from a minister, go to all of the rest of the ministers, because that's pretty much what they all do. <laughs> Radio, TV, uh, in person, that's pretty much what they all do. They encourage you. If you need lifting up or uh, guiding, and, you know, that, that's what a pastor does, okay? I may pastor a church, but that is not my call. My first call is to be a watchman, to warn you about what is coming. And you got to ask yourself one big question. Which is going to win more souls by the end of this whole thing, by the time Jesus returns? From now to the return of Jesus, will giving positive, encouraging statements win more people? Or will the last days, end time, warning message, Daniel, Revelation, stuff like that win more people? And I would vote for the second one. So let's get into something that depends on how you look at it. might be very negative, but if you want to know what's coming, this is some very, very powerful and important stuff. I call it, You Will See 666. December 10 through 14 of 2001, Terry Bennett claims that Gabriel came and laid out three seven-year time frames. Now, several times, I'm going to repeat this twice, it is that important. I realize by sometimes listening, it's sometimes hard to get it all down. So uh, situation is, he says, Gabriel came to him. As in the Gabriel that came and spoke to Demetri Dudeman and also to Daniel and several other places in the Bible, three seven year time frames. Now, he says for five days, beginning December 10th, 2001, Gabriel came and showed him much of the future. He laid out the future in three sets of seven year time frames. And he said Gabriel visited him several hours each day and told him what would occur during a 21-year period starting in 2008 to 2028. He divided the period into three seven-year periods. He then spoke about each seven-year period, revealing what would be in the predominant issue of each period. Gabriel spoke about these things. Terry was shown visions, allowing him to see what Gabriel was telling him of the same time. He said each period will have a predominant issue beginning with economic trouble, then governmental changes, and finally the rise of the one world religion. In all of the 21 years, from 2008 to 2028, there will be some elements from all three areas. Period one, economic trouble. He said the predominant issue of the first period from 2008 to 2015, the Bible says in the mouth of two or three witnesses, let a thing be established. So if what he says doesn't line up with what someone else says, then you can go back to sleep. But if it is accurate, then we must listen to it. Deuteronomy 18.21 says, If the prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, and that thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken, and thou shalt not be afraid of that prophet. So we have to look and we have to say, has what the prophet said in the past come to pass? If it has, then whether we like it or not, <laughs> we better set up, bend our ears forward, and listen carefully. So if these things it said would come to pass between 2008, 2015, if this is accurate, then we must listen to the rest of it. So let me start that again. The predominant issue of the first period from 2008 to 2015 would be economic problems. Okay, hold it, stop. Has that happened? Have there been economic problems from 2008 to 2015? And the answer is yes. Okay, it was 100% so far. Gabriel told Terry, 2008 will be the beginning of economic sorrows in our nation and in the world. 
Has that happened yet? <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. So he's got the second point correct. During this time, the economic wealth of the United States will be neutralized and the military power of the United States will be greatly diminished. Has that happened? No question. Just a few months ago, had Pastor Dan read an article to you that said that China has now overtaken the United States as the number one economic power on the globe. Now, there is no article saying that the United States military is no longer the strongest. However, we have read numerous articles talking about how the Russians are flying over and egging us on. I mean, it's like the bully down the street that keeps drawing a line in the sand with his foot and daring us to step over it and even kicking dirt on us, trying to get us to go to fight. So at least the Russians think their military power is more than the United States. They openly say that they are preparing for the next war, and they openly say they believe they can defeat the United States in the next war. So can we say the fourth point is correct? <laughs> yes, we can. So guys, he's got four out of four here. We better be listening, but there's more. He went on to say the economic problems will be the primary cause for the military power being weakened. Well, obviously. I mean, that's what Perestroika and Glasnos did to Russia. Okay, they didn't have the money, so they couldn't have the military. You don't have the money, you can't have the military. So obviously, it's the finances that have caused our military to go down, not to mention the black king in the office has not exactly been favorable to the military. But let's go on. He went on to say, Terry explained, there was at least some good that would come from this. In one sense of it, this is the protection of the Lord, because if it were not for this downfall, the spirit of Antichrist, which is coming out of Europe, would make a grab for this nation. There will be a change in the U.S. currency. Okay, hold on. That's the fifth prophecy. Has our currency changed? Well, we're not to the end of 2015 yet. But it is my opinion that on or about at the start of the Jubilee, which starts September 13th or shortly after that, as I've talked about in yesterday's broadcast, and you can go back and listen to it at prophecyclub.com, I talked about a global currency reset, about how they're about to pay off all government and all banking debt instantly, overnight, without warning. And of course, a Jubilee, according to Leviticus 25, is exactly that. A Jubilee commanded them to return all land to the rightful owners, to release all slaves, and to wipe out all debts. And that's what is about to happen. And as a result of that, America will be getting a new currency. My information, by the way, <laughs> i got to give you a disclaimer here. Before I go any further, I cannot prove a word of this is true. Okay, I will admonish you not to make any decisions, especially financial decisions, based upon anything I say in this broadcast. All of this is just for entertainment purposes. Okay, Now, what they're going to do is come out with a new currency. The name of it, some people refer to it as a TRN, or a Treasury Reserve Note. Others call it a U.S. note. But it will be a U.S. Treasury note, and it will be at least partially gold-backed they will be doing away with the Federal Reserve dollar. Now, <laughs> you can laugh and you can chuckle and you can point fingers, but you just make a note of it because it won't be too many more months before this happens. And then you can look back and say, uh, the guy knew what he was talking about. Again, I know what I'm talking about. I can't prove it. I haven't seen any of it in writing. It is all hearsay, but I believe it to be true. A different currency, Terry says, is going to come, at least one, <laughs> that will entail the United States no longer being the reserve currency of the world. Let me read that again. A new currency is going to come out. And about that same time, and connected to and associated with, that's all part of the global currency reset, the United States dollar will no longer be the reserve currency of the world. Again, I have heard that is about to happen. That's about to be a fact. However, I've got some additional information I think you'll find very interesting. A guy sent me over an email, and he's talking about special drawing rights. 
I know you haven't heard about this, but I'll explain. I'm reading this right off of sdrfuture.com. Go read it for yourself. Special drawing rights, or XDR, a.k.a. SDR, are supplementary foreign exchange reserve assets defined and maintained by the International Monetary Fund, or IMF. Their value is based upon a basket of key international currencies reviewed by the IMF every five years. Based on the latest review conducted on December 30, 2010, the XDR basket consists of the four following currencies, U.S. dollars, 41.9 percent, euro, 37.4 percent, pound sterling, 11.3 percent, Japanese yen, 9.4 percent. The weights assigned to each currency in the XDR basket are adjusted to take into the account their current prominence in terms of international trade and national foreign exchange services. Now, again, I can't prove this, but rumor has it that the new reserve currency will be the SDR, or Special Drawing Rights. Again, I can't prove this. It's just a rumor. But the point is that what this brother is saying here appears, from all sources we can look up, appears to be correct. Now, let's continue. Let's go back to the start of that paragraph. There will be a change in the U.S. currency. A different currency is going to come, at least one, that will entail us the U.S. no longer being the reserve currency of the world. I believe we're on the verge of seeing those things take place in our nation and the banking system failing again. So there are very serious things coming economically, he says. Now, period two, from 2015 to 2021, governmental changes. The economic problems of the first seven-year period will be the primary cause for the next major issue occurring during the second period from 2015 to 2021. 2014-2015, i.e. this year, would be a transitional year, leading to the next seven-year period, which would be a time of dramatic changes in governments around the world, great political turmoil, and wars. Did you hear that last word? Wars. Terry explained, what the United States is going to go through is civil conflict, civil war, then invasion. This will greatly diminish the desire of the spirit of the Antichrist to take hold of this nation. So, there was a side of it, particularly if we pray, that all of this would result in a blessing from the Lord to keep us from the domain of the spirit of the Antichrist. I saw in the governmental area, we will go through a dramatic change in our government and there will be a time of anarchy and chaos. Now, I personally believe that that is what's going to come out of this global currency reset. And we'll talk about that more in just a second. So you can look for if this GCR, this global currency reset takes place this year and there's a high probably, I'm going to say 90 percent chance it will take place in the fall of this year, then you can look for the chaos and the anarchy and the civil war, basically, to start this year. Now, let's continue. For a while, we will have a fractional government, which means, basically, our government will come down to the state level because of the military stepping in and having to seize control of our federal government. Uh, Let me read that again. Listen carefully. This is exactly the thing that our founding fathers did not want to see come to pass, hence the phrase, united we stand, divided we fall. Let me read it again. For a while, we will have a fractional government, which means basically our government will come down to the state level. Let me read that again. Listen carefully. For a while, we will have a fractional government, which means basically our government will come down to the state level because of the military stepping in and having to seize control of our federal government. Did you hear that? Now, we believe that that's probably what is about to happen with this GCR. And of course, with this wonderful black king we have in charge, and please, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm just simply not saying his name, okay? Uh, I respect the office, uh, the highest office in the land without saying the name of the office. I respect that office. Maybe not so much the person in the office right now. Probably what is about to happen 
is our government is probably about to have to step in concerning some things that are being done wrong and evil out of that highest office in the land. But that's not, thus saith the Lord, that's just my guess. Now let's continue. So anyway, it'll come down to the state level, the military stepping in, having to seize control of our federal government. We would call it a coup, but in all honesty, it will be to help our nation. That is why the military will step in. I believe we are now on the verge of these things happening. Lawlessness and chaos was shown to me and civil unrest. The angel Gabriel told Terry, when the checks from our government stop coming to the people, the chaos will ensue. Did you catch that? In other words, when the government, when the GCR takes place, they're probably going to say no more banks or governments can go into debt. You got to meet your bills. Okay. And that's when a lot of these freebie checks from the government will stop. That's when what Shane Warren was told, you can get the DVD from Prophecy Club back in October of 2013. He said that he was shown a vision that there would be riots in America, people holding up signs that said, we want our entitlements. What are entitlements? In other words, they're saying, we want our free checks coming from the government. That's what the Lord showed Shane way back then. And now we're having a second voice coming forth and saying this again. In the mouth of two or three witnesses, the Bible says, let a thing be established. Now let's continue. We're only halfway through this. Terry explained, then we're going to see a major change with our government. The great economic turmoil in the 2014-15 year, that's now, year of transition, will bring on these changes in the government. Again, guys, it's saying the GCR happens this year. The GCR brings on this chaos, the military having to step in and take charge, and much of the running of the country is turned over to the states, which, by the way, right now might not be such a bad idea. But anyway, then there will be a rise in a new government in Europe, which Gabriel warned me, keep your eyes on four nations. These are signposts to what is coming. Greece, Italy, Spain, and France. Greece because they're going to want another Alexander the Great. Italy, because they're going to want an emperor. Spain, because she's going to want a king and queen. France is going to want another Napoleon. Satan is going to offer all three of them in one person. In other words, (laughs) Antichrist. They will say yes, through chaos, they will gain control. I've talked about this many times. If you pull up the book called Morals and Dogma, written by Albert Pike, the founder of the Masons, you will see on the front of that book, at least the copy I had, it says, Ordo Ab Chao, which is Latin for order out of chaos. That's the whole symbolism behind the phoenix. The phoenix is a mythical bird that rises out of the ashes to form a new government or a new society. Hence, ordo ab chao, which means order out of chaos. Order, a new order, a new world order based upon Satan coming up out of the chaos of the ashes of the world that we live in now. Terry explained, I believe that some of the chaos will be created purposeful, while other chaotic events will come because once they get chaos going, they will be unable to control it. The economic chaos will lead to dramatic government change in Europe and in our nation. It will begin in the economic area, then go forth into the governmental area. Major governmental changes are going to happen in various parts of the world, particularly in Europe. Period 3, 2022 to 2028. The Rise of the One World Religion The governmental troubles will be in preparation for, particularly in Europe, the arising of the spirit of Antichrist. What is coming is called the New World Order. But behind this is the spirit of Antichrist and the false prophet spirit, a one world religion. Terry explained, I was told it would be a combination of three world religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, all brought together in a one world religion. Those three would be combined as a compromise, a mixture, Each of those three religions believes in one God, 
whereas other religions have many gods, and of course that wouldn't work. The one world religion will be presented as a solution that will bring peace, when in reality it will be a compromise, a mixture offered by Satan to turn the world away from the absoluteness that there is no other name under heaven whereby men can be saved but by the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody who refuses to accept the new one world religion will be labeled as a radical terrorist and be a threat to world peace. As it goes forward, it will move to murder. Okay, there you go. That's the mark of the beast, lopping off the heads and things like that. Now, back to what he said. It will be declared by a religious leader in Europe that this person, whom they will receive as their governmental leader, is God, when in reality, it is the Antichrist. When this religious leader declared this man to be God, Terry saw hundreds of thousands of Catholics rose up and said no. They resisted what they knew was an attack against the Lord Jesus himself. As a result, many Catholics were murdered. Okay, so if you read between the lines, what did that just say? The religious leader that rises up and claims this guy, this man, to be God, means, says that's the Antichrist, is a Catholic Pope. Read between the lines. I'll read this again. As a result, many Catholics were murdered. He also saw many Protestants resisting, and they were also put to death in great numbers. He saw millions of these resistors put to death, martyred for their refusal to accept the divinity of the Antichrist. Terry explained, there will also be resistor nations and tribes of people, even in the European area, who will be unwilling to go down that path. But it was at great cost of life that they will resist, and some of them will resist. Satan is going to push for worldwide acceptance of the Antichrist, but he will never fully be accepted. There will be sheep nations that absolutely resist, and there will be people, groups, who absolutely resist. Gabriel told Terry, the people of Ireland and Scotland will never bow to the Antichrist. He also told him, you will see 666, meaning speaking to him personally in his lifetime. He said, you will see 666. You will see the number of man demonically controlled in economics, government, and religion. When it goes to religion, that is when the mass martyrdom will begin. I talked to Terry on the phone. He told me that the fall of America would take place in the year 2021. Well, guys, what have I been saying? <laughs> I've been saying on or about, around, or associated with 2020. So that certainly fits. Then... I emailed Terry this article, and I said, Is everything in this text true and correct? At Tuesday, 4 28, 2015, 6 11 p.m., I received back an email, quote, Okay, Stan, Terry has looked over the article, and that is correct, meaning everything in this article he does stand behind as true and accurate. Now, what does all this mean? Does this mean that after 21 years, the tribulation starts? Uh, possibly, but not necessarily. Uh, what it does say is that there's three sets of seven years that God has told us about. What it does say that from 2022 to 2028 will be the rise of the one world religion. It did not say that's the start of the seven year tribulation. It certainly smacks of it. Now, that's not the timeline that I see, but I've been wrong before. However, it could be saying it's, as a matter of fact, I think we've got to say absolutely positively, it is saying that it's very close. Now, what do you do? I'm going to tell you two things. One, you personally, you got to stop sinning, repent, turn to Jesus with your whole heart so he can save you in the day of trouble. And everybody that you know of is not saved. Guys, it's time to get out of our comfort zone and start talking to these people about Jesus. Put some of these DVDs the Prophecy Club has in their hands because right now they are sleeping. They're in a slumber. They won't hear it right now. It's going to have to take something like a Prophecy Club DVD in their hands to shake them awake. If you just tell them about the love of Jesus, look, they already had that crammed down their throats. They didn't accept that then. They're not going to accept it right now. For the most part, not until the trouble hits. But 
many of them will hear the things that the Prophecy Club was saying. Matter of fact, most of the people that will come to know Jesus between now and his return, surprisingly, are not the Christians. Why, they don't need any of this because they're going to go into pre-trib rapture. Instead, it's the secular people. Those are the ones that will hear it. Those are the ones that will watch that DVD from the Prophecy Club. Go to prophecyclub.com and check out all the things we have. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your prayers. And thank you for your regular monthly support. God bless. Now from the Prophecy Club, some exciting opportunities for you. Yes, you can still get the two DVDs by Michael Snyder, Prepare for the Economic Collapse, World War III, and The Regathering of the Ten Lost Tribes of Israel for a gift of $50. However, the best deal is get the April gift offer, which includes the last four speakers having six DVDs, a value of $180 for a gift of just $90. In addition to Michael Snyder's two DVDs, you get Standing for the Lord, which tells the amazing story of how God got Christine Wyke past two key entry doors and two checkpoints to proclaim Jesus is Lord during Muslims worshiping Allah in a Christian church. Then in Prophecies in the Bible Codes, Jonathan Wright is the only Christian that is researching Bible prophecy in the Bible Codes. He's found amazing information presented in over 100 charts in this triple DVD set. So that would be six DVDs over the last four speakers at the Prophecy Club in the April gift offer, valued at $180 for a gift of just $90. Call 785-266-1112 and ask for the April gift offer. Or go to prophecyclub.com. That's the April gift offer. Four speakers, six DVDs, valued at $180 for a gift of just $90. 785-266-1112 or prophecyclub.com. Order today. Shocking, amazing heresy and blasphemy. Using over 100 video clips, you will see large, well-known ministers making shocking statements contrary to the Bible. Not just simple doctrinal errors, but open, abomination, heresy, apostasy, even blasphemy. So bad, you'll have to see it to believe it. See some of your favorite, most popular pastors seduce you with lying signs and wonders. The biggest names teach a false Christ. Yes, it is true. Your mouth will fall open. God exposes the worst sins of the Bible in these DVDs called Error in the Church. Worse than the Old Testament, nation-killing sins in America today. You won't be disappointed. You'll be furious, beyond angry. I thank God that Leslie showed me these shocking errors, and I would never have known it or believed it if I had not actually seen it. This will keep Prophecy Club and you from falling into error. Don't miss it. The fantastic offer of error in the church. Call today and give a $50 gift and we will immediately ship you the first three DVDs. 13 topics, 11 DVDs. And we put it together in a fantastic new offer. Call today and give a $50 gift and we will immediately ship you the first three DVDs. 30 days later, we'll charge your card for the second $50 gift, then send you the final eight DVDs, totaling 11 DVDs. 30 days later, we'll charge the third $50 gift. 30 days later, the fourth and final $50 gift, making it easy for you to get this fantastic set of 11 DVDs. That is four monthly gifts of $50 each. Air in the Church, 13 topics, 11 DVDs, valued at $330. Get started today for a gift of just $50. If you already placed an order, call 785-266 and we'll explain your great deal. Call 785-266-1112 and ask them for the fantastic Error in the Church offer. $50 donation gets you three DVDs heading your way today. Air in the Church, 785-266-1112. Air in the Church, 785-266-1112. Call today.